Hi, I'm Susan D'Souza. I'm a textile artist and I run textile workshops. I'm going to use this video demonstration to talk about the technique of uh, batik, which is a wax resist textile technique. I'm going to show you a few examples, um, some of the equipment and the, and the uh, materials that are used. And then I'll run through a demonstration, which I'll probably just speed up so you can see um, what's involved. If anybody's interested in learning about this in, in more depth, I've got a two day workshop coming up um, last day in June, first day in July, and that will be at Sussex Prairie Gardens. Um, it will be a nice long time to be able to experiment with um, samples on day one and then on day two to produce a scarf or a wall hanging um, you'll be able to walk around the gardens and that's where the inspiration will come from it's a very ancient technique it's practiced um, as an art form and has been for a long time in countries like um, Indonesia uh, Bali Java Japan China Sri Lanka West Africa um, but the basics I can explain using some of my samples are that um, the wax is applied so the white areas on this sample have had um, hot wax applied to them and then as that dries, dyes have been hand painted over the top or you can dip dye a piece of cloth um, and then the wax is ironed out afterwards to reveal the white that has resisted the dye. a little piece on silk which has actually still got the wax in it so it, um, the wax when it's ironed out it, it um, changes the sort of texture of the fabric a little bit you can wash it afterwards as long as the dyes have been fixed this piece uh, rather than starting with white has been dyed uh, this sort of golden yellow color um, then the wax has been applied and indigo has been applied over the top so that the areas that are resisting on this piece are the yellow colour. Show one more piece which is a larger, uh, more complete sample that's on cotton um, and on that one you can see there's quite a layering up of different colours, starting with the lighter shades and tones working towards the darker ones and there's some quite interesting areas on that um, where colours have blended together, um, some of the drips and the accidental marks are part of the, the beauty of, of Batty. So the um, things that I'll be using are a wax pot, so that's for heating the wax and I'm using a mixture of paraffin and beeswax which gives a kind of consistency that I like to work with. I've got here some tools, um, you get these also with more of a bowl on them um, and they've got a little spout the wax comes out of and that's called a chanting or a canting. Um, I've just got a range of brushes and sticks, anything that can withstand the heat that I can also apply the wax with. And I'm going to be working with a natural dye extracts. So this one is madder, for example, and that's ground up plant roots or, or you know, some part of the, of the plant. In this case, it's the root. So I, I'm going to set up now and I will just work through the technique um, fairly quickly so that you can get an insight into um, what's involved and as I say if you want to know more about the workshops then please have a look on my website uh, susandasousatextiles.com or on the Sussex Prairie Gardens events page um, and you can find more information out there.
final stage in the batik process is to iron the wax out. So I'm just going to show you that now. I've got um, some newspaper underneath and any kind of thin paper can be used on top. Newsprint, brown paper, newspaper, got hot iron, uh, no steam. And I'm just going to... And you can see the, the wax is coming out onto the newspaper, which I'll throw away. Um, and I'll just repeat that until there's no more wax left. That's the finished sample. Um, that was my original image of this knot in a piece of wood. Um, and hopefully that just gives you a bit of an idea about the process from start to finish which is quite a, a simple process but a really creative and interesting one to work with. Um, I'm going to have some batik work in an exhibition as part of the Brighton Artist Open House Online Festival um, and that will be a house that's about um, creative textiles and batik work and it's being run by the, the Batik Guild um, so you'll be able to view that work as part of the digital festival from the end of May through to the 20th of June um, so yeah please try and go and have a look at that and, and see what um, a whole range of very talented batik artists have produced using this technique. Um, it's been a, a pleasure to be involved in this Pure Art 360 um, event and I hope you enjoy some of the other digital online um, events from the other artists that are still to come uh, throughout this month. Thank you very much.